A very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode on the Life Signatures podcast. It's a daily podcast teaching on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. When I mentioned teaching, I just could feel people falling off and saying, I don't want this. But that's what it is. I mean, it is what it is, a teaching podcast. We've been talking about reputation over the past uh, several episodes, maybe 20, 30 or so. But we'll continue talking about the same subject matter. Right now, what we're dealing with is seven ways to recover a dented reputation. How do you come back when things have gone haywire as far as your reputation is concerned? We've been looking at these things. And today, we're going to continue talking about the same thing. We started talking about... Uh, uh, this uh, two episodes back and today we're going to continue what we started yesterday stay tuned welcome to the life signatures podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The first thing we talked about that if you're going to recover a lost reputation, you've got to acknowledge uh, things are bad. Uh, please go back in the past to uh, actually uh, several episodes, maybe five or so episodes, and just uh, recoup about that. Yesterday we were talking about the second thing you've got to do. So go back to ground zero. If you're going go, going to back go back to ground zero, you're going to where the problem started. That's what ground zero is all about. Where is the origin? In fact, by the way, there's something powerful about origins. Okay, if you wanted to find out, you know, right now we are having this uh, gender fluidity going on. Uh, what is the answer of this gender fluidity thing? It's not the answer is not in the future. Sorry to burst your bubble. The answer is in the past. Because in the past, that's where ground zero is. Ground zero tells us how things fundamentally, basically work. That is the setup of things. If your laptop crash, you're not going to go back to, I mean, you're not going to go to the future. You're going to go to ground zero. Where is ground zero? Ground zero is where it was manufactured. It's hardware, it's software. The problem is in ground zero. The problem is not el- elsewhere. The, the problem is not elsewhere. It is in ground zero. That's where the massive problem is. And so the considerations for ground zero are the following. We talked about one yesterday. Let's talk about another, another one today. Yesterday we talked about what were you known for? That's your ground zero. What were you known for before your reputation went out? What were you known for positively, fondly? What people used to refer to you fondly? That's the first thing. Secondly, I want to talk about this. What did you deviate from? What did you deviate from? Did you do this, the deviation? Because reputation, uh, you know, it's it's about to committing to stay steadfast and focused and consistent. So what did you deviate from? It is important to know the extent of your deviation from what you were known for in the first place. You cannot recover your reputation if you do not face head on your misdemeanor. That's the ground zero. Let me tell you something about ground zero once more. It is not funny. That's why sometimes we look down on where we've come from as a human race. 
we call ourselves primitive and so on right but ground zero is not fun doesn't look like it's it's uh, aesthetically you know beautiful no ground zero gives us the, the fundamentals it tells us where things began we get our clues of what went wrong from ground zero so if we cannot face our ground zero this is we'll be living in utopia i kid you not if you're not going to head on go to where the mess is the muck is the mary clay is where your feet were in that mary clay if you're not going to go there and find the clues of your misdemeanors find the clues of your deviation uh, there's something in mathematics we used to call standard deviation it just came to me and i have absolutely no idea how to calculate it but if you will not even standard deviation by the way it has a starting place if you will not go to the starting place to know where you deviated from you don't have the necessary information intelligence to use to make a rectification if you are known for excellence what is the deviation from it to what extent have you deviated from excellence if you are known for caring to what extent have you deviated from being a caring human being if you are known for loving to what extent have you deviated from being a loving human being if you are known for accommodating to what extent have you deviated because what you are known for is the reputation that's it there is nothing else about reputation but what you are known for fondly positively so the question is how far away have you deviated from it there's a, a, a scripture in the bible that says something of this sort it says people have a form of godliness but they deny its power you know what that, that is it translates to people having a religiosity mindset in other words you're doing things for the sake of doing things and your heart is not there and it bothers god actually i think in the scriptures in isaiah chapter 1 god is telling guys i am tired let me let me look for it's it's funny let me look for isaiah when i read for you 12 going forward i think from this translation called message the message translation it says why this frenzy of sacrifices god is asking don't you think i've had my fill of your burnt offerings rams and plum grain fed calves don't you think i've had my fill of blood from bulls and lambs and goats when you come before me whoever gave you the idea of acting like this running here and there doing this and that all this sheer commotion in the place provided for worship quit your worship charades i can't stand your trivial religious games monthly sacrifices weekly sabbath special meetings 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 i can't stand one more meetings for this meetings for that i hate them you've worn me out i'm sick of your religion 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 while you are you, you, you while you go right on sinning when you put your on your next prayer performance i'll be looking the other way no matter how long or loud you often pray i'll not be listening and do this why and you know why because you've been tearing people's into pe- you've been tearing people into pieces and your hands are bloody go home and wash up and clean your act sweep your lives clean of your evil doings I, so i do not have to look at them any longer and quote this is a form of godliness denying its power so when talking about reputation we we we're talking about doing things with your heart in there we're talking about going to ground zero find out where it is that you started doing meetings 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 and commotions you know doing activities but your heart is not involved in it that's where your reputation starts going south it's a sickening thing when you find out someone doing something for the masses and for eyeballs and they are not doing it with their heart they're just doing it for the sake of 
you know, doing it or for ulterior motives. You, you get what I'm saying? So this is what needs to be done. You've got to do things with your heart. So if you're going to ground zero to find out where did the rain start beating me? Where did I start going wrong? What are you going to find out? You should find out where your heart grew cold. And you, you just continue doing, running through the motions, but you don't care about it. Right? You've told people that you are X, Y, and Z. And of course, you started very well with your heart full at it. Now you've received some money, you've received some recognition and so on. You're riding on the money and the recognition. You're riding on the payment that you're getting from it. Or you're riding on the proceeds that you're getting from this reputation. You're not doing it with the heart that sent you there in the first place. This is what ground zero is all about. And let me tell you this. This ground zero is something that you've got to do lonesome. It's something you've got to do alone. Sometimes as an, as an organization, we've got to go and we've got to really find out what did we start doing wrong? When did we stop caring for our clients? When did we stop caring about this world? When did we get carried away with our charades when did we start going through motions without the heart being there this is where the problem is it is possible let me tell you something it is absolutely possible to go through the motions and the heart is not there we do this we pretend uh, when it comes to uh, um, love making, for example, you hear people saying they are faking an orgasm. Okay, you've heard that before. It is easy for <laughs> it is easy for us to fake things, but that is bad for our reputation. When we have found out that our hearts are not there, we're just doing things for the sake of routine. We're just doing things for the sake of fulfilling the law. Just doing things for the sake of fulfilling all righteousness. When that is found out, our reputation is spoiled. But guess what? The good news is that when we found out that, it is time to, guess what? Repent. It is time to, like we talked about in the previous episode, it is time to acknowledge that this is wrong. My heart is not there. Start looking for where your heart went. Start looking, start caring, start finding. What is it that was heavy on my heart? What is it that sent me to start doing what I'm doing that gained me the reputation in the first place? Because finding out this from ground zero gives you the necessary tools, the necessary plans, the necessary ideas to mount a comeback and to address the problem at the roots. Otherwise, anything else you do that is going to continue running through the motions of life. It is it, it, See, sometimes in Africa we have these revolutionary leaders who come to power. And I'm telling you, everyone gets out of their house to celebrate. And they are, every time there is a news broadcast, they are, everyone is quiet listening to the revolutionary leader spell out the plans maybe it's a 10 point plan a 15 point plan a 25 point plan whatever it is and everyone has a buy in into it you cannot question the heart of the revolutionary at the moment that they are revolutionizing their country at that particular moment in time you cannot question it but the problem comes down the law the the, the road along the way along the path they get so busy and they veer off the heart of the revolution and now they are busy firefighting. They are busy holding on to power. They are busy killing this and killing that and uh, stifling this and stifling that. The heart of the revolution is lost and the same thing goes with the reputation. It's gone. Let me tell you, it's not too late. If you have got to recover that reputation, you've got to go back and find out the heart of the revolution. What is it? Where did we deviate from? What is the root cause of this deviation? Where did we stop caring? Where did our hearts grow cold? That is it. 
all of us if we can find out and i'm telling you all it's not it's not just a, a something for the few people all of us are susceptible to grow cold hearts on things that matter to us the most and now we are doing them for the sake of doing we're not doing them with the heart that sent us there in the first place people fell in love with the heart and the commitment and the passion and the direction and the purpose now we have a semblance we have a form of godliness we have a skeleton that doesn't have meat on it no muscle no sinew no heart no spirit it left long ago but we are keeping on the charade that's what god was telling these guys i'm tired you do meetings upon meetings upon meetings sabbath evil this evil that you commotion here commotion there i'm tired and that's how we lose our reputation ladies and gentlemen when our hearts grow cold and yet we continue doing activities the same activities that we used to do when our hearts were ablaze when our hearts were on fire we've got to stop that charade tomorrow we're going to continue talking about this but until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.